Dr. Sonia Angel, Director of the California Department of Public Health and State Public Health Officer. 2019 novel coronavirus, also known as COVID-19, is a new kind of coronavirus, and we understand that the unknowns can create worry. And that's why we're closely monitoring the situation in the U.S. and abroad, gathering information and learning about this virus. We're working closely with the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, as well as our local health officials and doctors across the state. We're active in responding. Our priority at the California Department of Public Health is protecting the health of all Californians and the millions who visit our state. And we're doing everything in our power to keep people healthy. There is a lot we don't know about this virus, but there's also lots we do know, and we're learning more every day. As a doctor and an epidemiologist, I use science and evidence to guide my work. I've heard and seen some information out there that isn't quite right, and it may be adding to the fear. So I wanted to share with you a bit about what we do know. The family of coronaviruses has been around for some time. Some coronavirus are common, like the ones that cause the common cold. The cause of the current outbreak that originated in China, however, is a new member of this coronavirus family. There have been a limited number of confirmed cases of COVID-19 in California to date. We do expect there to be more cases, we are prepared and are taking action to help prevent further spread. I've heard people ask if they should steer clear of public events or businesses or restaurants to avoid becoming sick with COVID-19. The fact is that California has had a limited number of COVID-19 cases and we don't have indication of it spreading widely in our communities. Right now, the best prevention is similar to precautions you would be taking to prevent getting the flu. You should wash your hands with soap and warm water, cover your cough and sneeze, and stay home when sick. And what about surgical masks? Well, along with the CDC, we recommend their use only for those who are sick and for healthcare providers and others who are in close contact with people who are sick or who are at higher risk for developing COVID-19 disease. If you feel sick and have recently been to China or have had close contact with someone who you know has had COVID-19, contact your healthcare provider or health department and notify them of your travel history and close contacts. That way they can prepare for your arrival at the doctor's office. We're all hearing about deaths reported in China and there have been a few in other countries as well. However, what we know about the virus is that it's mostly causing mild illness. In the United States, we've had a limited number of cases and no deaths to date. That doesn't mean we shouldn't worry about it. We do worry about it, particularly because this virus is new and because it's affecting lots of people, especially in China. When lots of people are affected, it increases the likelihood that some will have more serious illness. We want to prevent or slow its spread in the U.S. and in California. That's why we're collaborating with our federal and local partners on making sure that those who may be at highest risk, like people who are just returning from China, are kept apart from others until we know that they won't get sick themselves or get others sick. There's lots of information out there, and social media is a place where many of us get information these days. But when you hear something, please consider this source as you think about how it should influence your behavior. The California Department of Public Health the CDC, and local public health departments are continuously updating our websites with the most recent factual information available on COVID-19. For updates, visit our website at cdph.ca.gov. It's natural to be concerned in a time like this, which is why California health officials are closely monitoring COVID-19. This is a time for our state to come together in all of our diversity, to support our neighbors and communities, to keep all of us healthy.